What's going on everybody? Kwaku here. Wait. I can't be wearing gym clothes for these kind of videos. One moment. Alrighty, that's more like it. This clothes feel so much better. So today we got a new build of Windows 11 this time. Uh, it is Windows 11. It's a cumulative update from Windows 11 build 22,000.71. It's just a cumulative update. Has a few improvements um, and it's a few fixes. It looks like this is pretty much Windows 11 feature complete other than that final day one update, uh, most likely coming whenever it comes out this fall. I'm actually installing it uh, right now. So you see in the background right there, I'm actually trying to install this thing. It's just a simple, cumulative update so yeah let's jump in and yeah take a look at just the small changes that we see and see if there's anything new this is the first of many obviously for these kind of videos for windows 11 so let's jump in all right so now we're looking at windows 11 we are looking at this most recent cumulative update that came out for it because it seems strange but we're not getting full builds anymore it looks like we're just getting a bunch of updates minor bug fix updates um obviously this is a major bug fix update there are really not any features that came out with this other than two which i'll mention later but I'll summarize uh, what happened in the previous update that actually had a slight feature change um, and basically all that was was when you click the start button before we did not have a search here I have a little gripe with this search but this search was not here before you could still search right out of the start menu by starting to type as soon as you open up the start menu but the actual visual search was not there and now you can click on it and it opens up search for windows 11 and then you can start typing from there but there was nothing right here personally my gripe for this is that i kind of agree with paul therat in that i don't really see the point of this here um i guess i'm a different user in that i i guess i can call myself a power user um and i know that as soon as i click start i can start searching right off the bat but it just kind of looks weird here and even if even if uh i was a normal user i want to just say uh there's a slight design discrepancy with this search right here and the search over here in the widgets so you see the search in the widgets does not have any underlying thing. When you click on it, then it underlines it. In fact, it's even a different color. Uh, but the search in the start menu is uh, just, it's it's always looks like it's selected, which is kind of strange to me. I kind of wish it was more like the widgets where it was not highlighted or anything until you go over it and start interacting with it. So that's just one thing that happened. Also, while we're in the widgets pane for this current update that came out, this current cumulative update, they added a entertainment widget. Um, basically, if you add widgets, you can see entertainment is there. Obviously, I already have entertainment right there. So you can add that into it. They have a bunch of widgets. A lot of people seem to like widgets so far on Windows 11. I normally just turn off widgets altogether because I don't want I don't even want to see this here. I'd never use it in the first place. Um, and then another thing that came, we'll go to the blog post for that one here. There's a whole lot of fixes, as you can tell. There's a whole lot of fixes, a ton of fixes here. Like they say, they add an entertainment widget, and then they said for the new context menus, they added an acrylic material design to it. So before it was more opaque and you couldn't see through it, it was just your system theme color, um, which was either black or white. Now it kind of see through and bleeds through to the background. So we'll demonstrate that just now. So if I right click, you can see that it bleeds through. If I right click up here, you see it's darker up here and it starts to bleed through the little ribbony background uh, in the background, which is pretty nice. Um, there are still some design inconsistencies that I'm seeing, but I'll mention that later. They are also saying they're testing a usability of a split button for making new folders in the file command bar, the file explorer command bar. And then here is one of the things that I'm going to mention, the taskbar previews. It says the taskbar previews, when you mouse over icons or apps on the taskbar, have been updated to reflect the new visual design of Windows 11. Personally, I didn't even notice that anything changed in the first place, but um, they have been updated. Now, when you hover over, they kind of show that similar design of Windows 11 curved corners and all that stuff. So that's nice. But what I have to say with this, and you're going to have to take your eyes and I'll zoom in for that remind myself to zoom in is when I highlight when I highlight over and right click uh, when I right click an icon right here 
um, in the taskbar, you'll see that these four system icons that you cannot rearrange at all, these four, the Windows button, the Start button, the Search, the uh, Task View, and then the Widgets button, their right-click context menus are kind of strange in that when you right-click, uh, you see the spacing right here at the bottom of it. And when you right click this and this and this, whereas when you right click this, uh, you see how much more space is there. You see there's a ton of space from the context menu to the taskbar itself. Same thing with edge, same thing with all the other icons that can actually move around. But these four icons, these four uh, general system icons, uh, when you right click them, their spacing is uh, different from the rest. So that's just a kind of like a design inconsistency that kind of bothers me. Um, it's a minor thing. Most people won't notice it, but I noticed that. So these four icons here, they just need to shift it up, make it uh, the same across all the icons that can be moved around. And then that brings me to another thing that I see wrong with uh, Windows 11 right now is that these four default icons that come with pretty much everybody's Windows 11 update or Windows 11 OS, uh, you can't move them around. You can only disable them. That's kind of like upsetting to me. I wish you could at least, I wish you could at least move them around. Unfortunately, that's not the case for that. So that's pretty much in a nutshell the changes that happened in this update and even the last one. You have the search that popped up um, as of the previous update and then they added some acrylic material to the right click menus of uh, overall computer of your overall computer, especially on your desktop itself. And then they also updated the, the quick look uh, things to see. Uh, a more Windows 11 based design. Oh, actually, it's kind of strange because when I highlight over the X, it makes it squared still. So that's actually weird. But that's pretty much it in a nutshell. There's a lot of fixes here. I won't go through them. You guys can go through them yourselves. It says after right clicking the start icon taskbar, clicking somewhere else, you're now dismiss um, the menu more reliably and so on. There's a whole lot here. As you can tell, this blog post is very long. There are still some known issues here. Uh, it says in some cases you might be able to you might be unable to enter text when using search from start or the taskbar. If you experience it, press Windows key R on the keyboard to launch the run dialog, then close it. So that's still a known issue um, that's been there since day one. Hopefully they fix it soon. But other than that, Windows 11 is looking pretty, pretty much feature complete, in my opinion, other than the um, like embedded ways of using like teams that are having Microsoft teams built into the OS. Other than that, Windows 11 is looking more and more uh, just feature complete. It looks like these are so far just like bug fixes and bug fixes and bug fixes to the end of the year. Unless something major comes around, I'm pretty much, I can pretty much say that this is pretty the most stable Windows OS beta preview, whatever you choose to call it, that I've seen in a very long time. So stay tuned for more news, Windows 11 and more uh, build updates. If I don't see major updates, uh, any like crazy update to give a video for, then you won't hear a video from this channel, at least for that, because I don't really see a point in having to make a video for tiny bug fixes. So. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about Windows 11 and how you, if you like it so far, if you don't, what you don't like about it. I'm just curious. Um, yeah, my name is Kwaku and uh, have a great day, everybody. Take care.